Okay, now that we've gotten to take care of all this stuff, time to go outside and fight monsters, which means... Stop talking to me. Ah, I said stop talking to me. We're done here. That's what happens. You actually don't press anything. If you bump into someone, you instigate talking. Speaking of which, I should explain the combat now. How it works is you actually just run into things. Yeah, there's no attack button required. You just run into them. Now, here's the catch. You want to hit your enemies off-center or on the sides. You don't want to hit them straight on because if you might heard that dink sound. If you hit them straight up and down, there's a lesser chance of you doing damage to them and them doing damage to you. So, yeah, there's kind of a little strategy involved to a very simple system of combat. Which kind of gives your thumbs a rest because all you have to do is just move around and kill things. Very easy to grind. Simple, but effective. And we're already at the next village. It's hearing strange things in the field. If you build it, they will come. Oh, wait, wrong field, sorry. Yes, this is Septic Village. While working the mine, I found a strange annexed room. There were two statues of the goddesses pale light. When I saw them, it felt as I were in another world. Now that is interesting. So I didn't catch that right off. I'll explain more about that later. Next to Darm Tower, there are many goons holed up in the tower. One-way door that lets us in, but keeps us from getting out. Well, if you enter it, what keeps you from going back out? Uh, that sounds like a really bad idea. Why don't they just make a, you know, wall or something? Not many people like these, but they're very street smart. If there's anything you don't understand, go through a hideout. They may help you. So are they more like the Yakuza than anything? <laughs> Here the silver bear was stolen from the mirrors. Do you know anything about it? Yeah. New news to me, man. More about the suspicious man. I'm assuming he's in black. And this man's husband has left and apparently lost in his sleep. Oh, we'll be talking more about him later. <laughs> his name is Luta. And they need protection. Why don't you go ask the local Yakuza? When I was young, heard about the Books of East. Very informative. <laughs> actually, in the later parts, you find out thieves actually are trying to protect the citizens here, and, well, they got their butts kicked at one point. Ah, Village Mayor says we've come at the right time. Well, we're protagonists. We do that. Can you keep a secret? Sure, it's a secret to everyone. Our village memorial, the silver bell, has been stolen by the thieves. I would like for you to bring it back. Can you do it? Eh, count on me. Thieves' nest is in the mountain to north of the village. Good luck, and one more thing. Please don't tell the village people that the bell has been stolen. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. It's okay. Sorry. And here's Jeva's house. Oh, that's Sarah's crystal. You are going to find the Books of East, aren't you? Then take this key with you. So yes, we need Sarah's crystal to get this thing, which... If we don't have this thing, we can't go very far in the shrine. So yes. You know, one-shot use plot item has been used. For another one-shot use plot item. Excellent! So, yeah, well, we're heading to the Thieves' Den, with awesome music, and blue guys, with two swords. I think they're two swords. Or they could be drums, I mean, we might be fighting a blue man group for all we know. By the way, I love their show. Oh, we, we got damage done to us. And that's the other aspect about this game, well, besides getting a level, I should explain. If you've taken damage, all you do is stand still, if you're in the overworld or in cer certain areas, you will regenerate health quicker than, you know, a regenerating thing. I can't think of anything. <laughs> anyway. Not long ago, my co old comrade Colin was lost in Darm Tower. He's been missing ever since. Why did he go in such a place? I think it's more explained later. And here's the thieves' nest. What do you want, young man? 
What do you mean, we're a pack of stinking louses? You got it all wrong. <laughs> okay. We only steal from the rich. We never want to hurt the ordinary people. They're sounding a little like the Yakuza. Uh, Even though we're thieves, we two are victims of theft. Someone has stolen our silver goods. We can't figure the reason behind such an atrocity. Really, is stealing silver an atrocity? I would think, you know, mass killing of people would be atrocities, or monsters slaughtering the land. No, apparently stealing silver is just an atrocity as mass murder and slaughter. Good to know. Anyway, yeah, they're supposed to be like the Robin Hood group of this area. And by the way, the guy, he gets explained later. Well, his name is Gorvan, I believe. And here we are in the shrine. And which one of these things is not like the other? Which one of these don't belong? I'd say you. Yoink! Yes, teleportation. And go over here and open this chest. And we get the ruby. Just a ruby, no slippers. Oh, matches our hair at least. And here's a chest we can't really open. It's locked. We have to get a certain key in here. Oh, speaking of red, I noticed there were some comments. I mentioned that Adol was the only red hair of this game of the series, and it was quickly brought up that hey, you know, some of the characters look like they have red hair. I don't know if it's the turbos, you know, thing on colors. Some of the hair looks red. Then again. This was made by Hudson Soft and, well, and we'll talk about the letters. Let's go fight the boss. Dun, 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 dun. And yes, this is kick ass boss music. Okay, what we need to do is hit this guy as he appears and then smack him and hopefully not get hit by the fire. Yes, this guy reminds me a lot of that Wizro boss you fight in Zelda 2, except he doesn't actually shoot energy at you, just these fire pillar dragon things. As you do more damage to him, his appearance time is a lot quicker. As you will see right now. Well, or not, and that took some damage. Oh, did I mention the soundtrack of this game is completely badass? Well, I guess I should mention that now. And we'll be hearing that song a lot, too. That got another level? This be a good time to save. So yeah, as I was explaining about the red hair deals, we go deeper into the shrine and hear more cool music. Yeah, I'm guessing the color palette isn't as you know vibrant as the Super Nintendo, so certain things look like red when they should be brown. Also, Hudson Soft did this game, even though the story and whatnot, you know, most mechanics is from Falcom. Uh, Falcom did give them the rights to pretty much make this game on their own. So certain characters look different than their official counterparts, like. Sarah looks like she kind of has red hair. Actually, there's a character in East 2 that blatantly looks like she has red hair, but in the other version, she actually has brown hair, so... If there's a mix-up, I apologize for that. Well, as we continue down, this place is actually very dangerous. You need to tread very carefully, especially with these monsters. Not so much the green grasshopper spider things, those blue freaking hedgehogs. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog's evil cousins over there can really rip you a new asshole at this point. Right now I am grinding for experience and gold at this point. Like I said, this is an easy game to do it. And it doesn't take that long either. I really wish more games would implement a really fast combat system. Actually, Hero... Hero 30, or Happen at Hero, actually does that quite well and I was very pleasantly surprised by it. In fact, I think that's getting a sequel, too. So, good to hear about that. I th didn't XC do that one? Hmm, anyway. So, yeah, let me demonstrate how nasty the hedgehogs can be. Yeah. Yep. 
you'll find yourself grinding a few areas in this game. Because this game does not pull punches. It can easily kill you and quick. And, I mean, not just the bosses. If you're in certain areas where your armor is lack, armor class is lacking, your excuse me, defense is lacking, or your experience is lacking, the enemies are not afraid to just, you know, dig a grave for you. Well, other things I should talk about. Ah, well, I should talk about the music. The original soundtrack for East 1, East 2, and East 3 was made by Yuzo Kashiro. Wow, where have we heard his name before? Haven't I done like at least two games with the soundtracks? Or excuse me, four games so far? Yeah. And I want to get that treasure, but there's another one. Yeah, that's why hedgehogs are evil. Flaming Hedgehogs, no less. And no, that's not a joke on how many pictures I've seen that they've tried to make Sonic the Hedgehog gay. Gay for Tails, gay for Shadow and Silver, you know, so on and so forth. I don't want to make comments about that, but hey, this is OGS. It's expected of me to make bad comments, so there you go. Let's try this one more time. And if not, what I'll do is I'll go off screen and buy some better armor and get a extra yeah extra level experience because in east one level can make a huge difference especially with bosses and I'm getting torn up and I got my level but I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs and just yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get some better armor I'm not gonna be able to take the hedgehogs out like this well, not without worrying, being scared, and, you know, having death store at me and all the time. So, then I get back here, and I'm going to do it off screen, so I'll see you guys in a bit. As soon as I save. Okay, see you in a bit. <laughs> 